there you go. If you're looking for a place to build your own product and also get some guidance along with it, then the Maker's Asylum is the perfect place for you. On the other side of this short break, Mrinali gets talking to three students from MSRIT in Bangalore who are looking to make Bangalore a safer city. The finals of the Texas Instrument Innovation Challenge were recently concluded in Bangalore. The contest aims at providing aspiring engineers a platform to showcase their ideas. Talking to us today, we have the winners from MS Ramaya Institute of Technology. Hi guys, welcome to the show. Introduce yourself and tell me which stream you're in. Uh, I'm Karthikeshwar Verma and uh, we're all doing electronics and communication. I'm Rakshit Ramesh. And I'm Anup Kulkarni. Okay. Uh, so tell me how exactly, what exactly your project is about. Our project is a radar which can be mounted on top of the car and uh, help, it helps prevent accidents due to low visibility conditions. So we're aiming uh, for the lower end cars and trucks so they don't have any means of an aversion of accidents in low visibility conditions. So our system is very economical. Uh, you can buy it for 10,000 rupees and fit it on top of your car. So a lot of accidents can be prevented in the highways. Uh, that's basically what we've done. So if one of you could explain to me how exactly the entire thing works. We developed this uh, low-cost uh, radar system. Basically, uh, we'll generate a signal from here and uh, it reflects from the car and is reflected back. We, we signal process on the two sig signals and uh, uh, we do signal processing and uh, we estimate how far the vehicle is and how fast the car is coming, uh, approaching us and uh, we can give a uh, feedback to the driver uh, to avoid, avoid collisions. Okay, all right. So where exactly did this uh, idea come from? Who, which one of you came up with it or was it a... Okay, so uh, we were just attending regular classes and we were quite bored honestly of mm -hmm. just the regular classes. And uh, so we wanted to start something new. And uh, we found that uh, in India over 1,200 accidents occur mm -hmm. every day. And that was quite alarming and no one did anything about it. So we began the course over like a year and here we are. So that's how it started. Okay. So how did the uh, contest happen? How did you decide to get into the Texas Innovation Challenge in the first place? Uh, we've been participating in this competition from the last two years. Okay. So Texas Instruments is uh, extremely helpful uh, for the student community by providing uh, free IC samples and free support. So basically, we thought this is the best platform to showcase uh, our innovation, and uh, we just went ahead with it. Uh, we invested a lot of money, um, and finally, we succeeded. That's great. So I'm pretty sure there was there was tough competition from a lot of colleges around the country. So, um, how many other participants participants were there, and uh, did you guys ever think you would actually come through and win the, win the entire thing? Okay, so there were about more than 2,600 teams consisting of 11,000 students. Mm -hmm. So uh, uh, we began qualifying for every stage and then we kept improving our product. But we never actually thought we could make it all the way. But we, we worked pretty hard mm -hmm. and then, I mean, finally we just did it, I guess. <laughs> all right. Uh, how long have you been working on your project for? We've been working from the past uh, one year. Mm -hmm. So... Uh, we had to sacrifice a lot of uh, college hours. Uh, it's been a year. Okay, all right. Um, so I understand that the first place that you guys won was uh, 10,000 US dollars. What do you plan on doing with that money? So basically, we're going to invest that back into a startup. Okay. So we're going to finalize this product and finally bring it out to the masses who actually need this to actually save lives. Mm -hmm. So that was our initial purpose, and we're one step closer to achieving that. So do you plan on submitting your uh, designs to the government? What are your future plans? Yeah, we have a lot of plans to submit this uh, to the government because the government will have the infrastructure to make this product uh, available to the masses. Mm -hmm. So our target audience is the truck drivers and other low economy vehicles who will really require a product. So the government is the ideal platform. Okay. For 
All right. So it honestly couldn't have been smooth sailing for you. You said you were working on this for an entire year. You had to sacrifice college hours and things. What were some of the other challenges that you guys had to overcome uh, during the process of this one year? Uh, our college has supported us a lot in this process. So our faculty have been very supportive. They've been uh, providing us uh, uh, extra classes to cope up with uh, the hours we're missing. So apart from that, we have felt no challenge because the college has been really supportive. That's great. Okay. So talking about the contest itself, uh, what was it like when they finally announced that you guys had won the entire thing? Uh, okay. The first thing we did is called our parents. Mm -hmm. So we couldn't have done it without their support. I mean, uh, they saw us working late nights, not coming home. Mm -hmm. I mean, yeah, we called them up, and then it took us a day to sync to actually sync the information in, and then we felt really great for it. Yeah. Uh, what about college support? I'm sure you had a project manager and uh, I'm sure your principal, I met him earlier and he was absolutely over the moon about this. So what kind of support did uh, you get from them? So uh, Our mentors and guides, so I'd like to mention them, uh, Professor MSS Srinivasan and uh, CG Raghavendra mm -hmm. sir. So they helped us in various aspects mm -hmm. of the system as well. And our labs are equipped with all kinds of equipments we need. And uh, everyone is supportive and we couldn't have done it without them. Yeah. That's great. Do you have anything to say to other aspiring innovators out there? My suggestion would be to aim high, mm -hmm. as high as possible, even if and focus on what you want to achieve. Even if the job sounds very difficult, make an attempt and definitely succeed. All right. On that note, thank you so much to three of you for joining us and congratulations once again. That's all we have for you on this, today's episode of Heads Up. Thanks so much for watching.